So I have a decision to make. I wanted to uh, paint where I'm touching here, the jam and the, um, the brick molding or the trim. Well, hey there everybody. Scavenger Steve back here with you. Still at my building at 119 East State Street in downtown Marshalltown. And I uh, thought I'd squeeze in another video or two here. These uh, workers are going to be finished here in about another hour, they say. They're putting the finishing touches to the drive it, which is a sand and paint mixture. And so you can see them working. They just have a little bit, there we go, to the end, a little bit uh, more to go, and they'll be at the very end. So anyway, this I'd take a minute and talk to you about something else. Oh, I hope I'm not making you too dizzy there. Where I'm touching here, this is called brick molding. And this, where I'm touching now is the door jam, of course. Most of you know that. So I have a decision to make. I wanted to uh, paint where I'm touching here, the jam and the, um, the brick molding or the trim. I want to for sure do that in white because all the windows are uh, of white or the trim around the windows are white and then i have a decision to make on the door you can see that this where i'm touching now is metal it's a metal door it's gray it's a it's a factory primer and um so i either need to decide to paint it um beige have it ma computer matched to the same color as the exterior now the new exterior of course uh or uh, I need to decide between the two colors. I need to decide between beige or white. And I think I'm gonna go with beige and I'll tell you why. If something is pure white, with as much traffic as there is coming and going all the time, all the little smudges, all the little fingerprints, all the little scuffs, everything is just magnified by 10 or 20 times. So I'm gonna do myself a favor. So a little tip to pass on to you. Do yourselves a favor when you're in a situation like this. Now, this inner part here where this is a, a type of plastic, this white that I'm touching now, you definitely want to leave that white. Don't try to paint it. But the gray part, as I was just saying, I'm definitely going to do myself a favor and you'll do yourselves a favor if you follow what I'm saying. Uh, sand the metal, scuff the uh, exterior a little bit to give the chance, give the uh, primer and the paint a chance to uh, grab onto something you might say but uh, do yourself a favor and a door like this it's gray paint it beige to match the beige on the rest of the building and leave the plastic where you see the nine little windows there leave that white and then the only thing else you want to do with white is the door jam and the door trim so that's uh, an opinion from scavenger Steve of course I'm full of opinions <laughs> I'm um, coming up on the big seven zero, so I'll hit uh, seven tenths of a century here in a few months. So I've been around the block a time or two. Was in, uh, started uh, just coming up on 44 years now that I bought my first rental property. So I've been around the block, as we sometimes say. Anyway, I'm uh, up to um, over f uh, three minutes, and I want to end this. So hope you enjoyed this, as always, and. Uh, so this is Scavenger Steve signing off and encouraging you to go seize the day and scavenge your way. And in the meantime, give me a like and don't be afraid to subscribe. See you later. Bye-bye.